All right, hello there, YouTube. One thing I want to say is that I'm actually streaming this, or rather filming this, while I'm also live on Twitch. Um, what I want to show you guys is the various Shea builds because I was asked um, if I might make a little video on it, and sure, I decided to do it. So with Shea, there are two particular playstyles which I like. Um, one is if you're going to be using the uh, the lock-on sniper rifle styles. Okay, if you're going to be using those, like the Asi Dagan or the Fax Oot, um, one of the things which I like is to have Merciless here. Why? Because when chaining shots, it makes your snipes a lot faster. Um, sorry, it makes them a lot more, a lot faster to kill. Sorry, wrong wording. So Merciless is usually <laughs> pretty easy to unlock. It's only in the third row and it's um, very useful actually. So it's great for minion clearing, especially if you're going to use the Asitagan. And for her personal talent, I always like to use Expertise. Because this one helps you bewitch your targets faster. And it's also easily accessible on the second line. So if you're a new Shea, this is useful. Just be sure that uh, you use it well because it just helps you acquire your targets faster. Hmm? Okay, next, the other alternative build now, this is using my old focus car. I'm building a new one um, to be decent because I built this one. I didn't know shit about the game. But anyway, with the focus car, all right, she's got a rapid fire gun that doesn't require lock on time. You will instantly lock on, but you need to put the crosshair into the into the lock on area in order to shoot faster. It's very, very good if you're an antag. It's a great way of uh, countering the protags. Um, it's also good in most missions if you prefer a rapid fire weapon. And with this one, I choose a different sort of loadout. I would choose urgency, okay, because this weapon builds up uh, pressure super fast. You will want to have urgency on it to help yourself, all right, because when you kill an enemy, your next reload is 80% faster. You need that, all right? And as for your talent here, there is a different way that you can run it if you feel like it. Um, I have run this. Isobar Valve, where your weapon gains less pressure when shot. This can actually be really helpful. But again, if you want to, you can also run Expertise. It's really down to a personal choice. I personally chose this, but a lot of the time I will use this as well. I will use Expertise very often because it's helpful. It really is. So now I'm going to show off um, uh, how this build plays out. So if you guys want to see some gameplay, all right, I'll, don't worry, I'll tell you guys which loadout I'm going in with. But if you guys want to see some gameplay, don't forget that you can stay tuned on this video. If not, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, all right? And I'll see y'all on the next video, okay? Okay. All right, ladies and gents, it looks like I'll be alone this morning. Um, so with this one, I'll be going in, uh, since they want me to play Mind Never Matter, what I'll be doing is I'll be going in as a hardcore killer sniper. Alright, so I'll be using the uh, Asi Dagan to show you the Shea gameplay, which means I'll be going in with Merciless and Expertise. Alright, let's see how this works. I can't believe I queued this long and got a solo game, even though I was also queuing as Antag. I really wanted to show you guys some Antag play for the, uh, for the YouTube video, but... Okay, skippy skippy. As you can see, you can basically destroy this thing ASAP. But reducing pressure? Happens in stages. Okay, so you gotta be aware of that. As you can see, one cool thing about Shea is just how fast she is, and how strong she can be. 
in a wide variety of situations, so don't be afraid to use her as she was meant to be used. Limit your targets, destroy them. The Asi Dagon is so good at acquiring targets, it's just magnificent how fast it is. So although it's got a much smaller area of effect, like for example, See, it is much, um, should in general be able to enjoy the faster reloads. And you want the pressure to be as high as possible because this thing is basically treated like a bolt action. You can choose to reload after each shot if you want Herrick style. It's like Herrick with a clip, but you reload each thing manually. Okay, first stage of the council being beaten is done. Loading. So as you can see, like even a boss doesn't really worry you much. She's that good. The focus on other people. You are free of consequence. Hardly even have to track your shots. Now you can still get into trouble, don't get me wrong. Okay. But if you do- oh shit. If you do get into trouble, it's not that bad. It's not as bad as you would think. So sometimes you will make errors. The thing is, don't worry too much about it. So with the SC Dagon, you don't have to worry as much as you would with other guns. Keep dropping that heat. As you can see, this really helps because when you bewitch them, if your bewitching time is low, you can basically instantly bewitch them, which is what you want. You don't want to be like wasting fucking ages trying to get a lock on them, no. The rare bewitching talent is good for that reason. See, instantly bewitched. They stick their head out, they get bewitched. Now sometimes you will sort of fail a little bit. There we go. Now, if you really want to, you can still uh, get the reload talent on it. It's really up to you. As you can see, I do not use it, but if it bothers you, alright, you can. Because some of y'all might not want to do these kinds of runarounds. Like, some of y'all will prefer, okay, I want an easy time reloading. I don't want to sweat and stress. Urgency is great. Make a kill, reload fast.
try and lay it down. Why does it keep doing this? I swear. There we go. That was annoying to deal with. Anyway, one mind player left, so. Don't you love being a boss killer though? Like, that's what makes like this so worth it. Like this stage, easy squeezy. Too overconfident, too overconfident. Because all it takes is two whacks from them and then you're done. All those little bits, you can definitely just ignore. Mission accomplished. So again, how you want to play Shay is up to you. Whether you want to use the focus Kyle Asi Dagon as a as a newbie Shay, but me personally, I do like the Asi Dagon. It is fast and powerful. Just remember with the reloads, whether or not you want to go for the faster reloads or more damage on a kill, it depends on what bothers you. If you're bothered by the reloads, then go for that. If you're not, then you don't have to. Okay, right, just remember let's that. See how you did. This was an 18 minute solo, so with only 6 deaths, so that's pretty good. Alright, as you can see, no problems here. You still score relatively highly 8.5. Hey, okay. Alright, all right, ladies and gents, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to see more of my content, leave a comment. If you want to see me uh, play other characters. And for now, thank you so much. And I'll see you on the next one. Alright.